So this question starts off by providing some poll results. We see that Angel Cruz has 483, most likely votes, and Terry Smith has 320, I'm assuming, votes. So the question goes on to say, the table shows the results of a poll, a total of 803 voters. Okay, perfect. So if we had that, that'd be a part of the table. This would be the total. A total of 803 voters selected at random were asked which candidate they would vote for in the upcoming election. According to the poll, if 6,424 people vote in the election, by how many votes would Angel Cruz be expected to win? All right, so we need to use this information to figure out how many votes we think Angel Cruz would even get out of the 6,424 votes and how many votes Terry Smith should get out of those 6,424 votes voters and then we can decide or then we can calculate by how much angel cruz would be expected to win so i'm going to use a proportion to solve this i'm going to say for angel cruz we know that out of the 803 voters angel cruz received 483 so 483 out of 803 and then we don't know so x we don't know how many votes angel cruz would receive out of 6424 so to solve for x, I can just cross multiply here. So I would be left with 803x is equal to, go to my calculator. And what is 483 times 6424? That's equal to 3,102,792. So then I divide both sides by 803. And I get x is equal to, let's see, divide by 803 on my calculator. I get x is equal to 3,864. That's the number of votes we expect for Angel Cruz. Okay, let's do the exact same thing for Terry Smith. Terry Smith received 320 votes. Actually, it's an easier way to do it. We know there's a total of 6,424 people. We're saying that 3,864 of them, we'd expect to vote for Angel Cruz, which means the remaining people should vote for Terry Smith. 64.24 minus 3864 gives me 2,560 votes for Terry Cruz. So TS is equal to that number. So the question wants to know by how many votes would Angel Cruz be expected to win? Well, it must be the difference between these two numbers. Um, Looking at my answer choices, though, it kind of makes the answer pretty obvious. Uh, Angel Cruz received 3,864 votes. So C cannot be the right answer because C asks, the question is asking by how many votes Angel Cruz would win by, not how many votes did Angel Cruz actually get. Also, D can't be the right answer because if Angel Cruz only received 3,864 votes, there's no way Angel Cruz could have won by 5,621. Also, A just seems like way too small of a number dealing with these thousands, and we can look and see that this is not the difference of only 163, so A is also gone. So B must be the correct answer here, 1,304, and we can see that if we did that, like if we did the actual subtraction here, 2560, that's exactly what we would get, 1,304. So our answer here is choice B.